Hi Aquarius, welcome to a new era. Hi, uh, my name is Emma. Uh, Aquarius is Vattumannen in Swedish. I am Swedish and so I will use a few Swedish words here and there where I feel like maybe the English needs some clarification. Uh, spirits just coming in to say that that might be a bit tough, that word, uh, and then I try to explain it as best as I can for my Swedish peeps. Um, I feel a bit weird today. I feel a bit like uh, <laughs> my ear hurts and I think it hasn't hurt me for like over 30 years or something. It's just ages and ages ago. Um, and I don't know, I just feel a bit like I'm catching a cold or something. Uh, it doesn't feel like I am really catching a cold. It just I just feel like the energy is a bit weird for some reason. I can't really pinpoint why. Um, so I'm apologizing in advance if I'm a bit, you know, because I already have stumbled over the words a couple of hundred times and I feel like I'm not so perfectly clear. Uh, but I still wanted to make the like the message for you so I didn't leave you empty like all the other signs and then just the three last signs didn't get any. Um, so I still wanted to make you something or look into your sign. You're my Ellen DeGeneres, by the way. She's an Aquarius. Um, and I'm drawing three cards and I'm looking at them at the same time to see what's going on in your life. It sort of gives me a bit of a story. Listen to the message and not don't try and try not to care so much about me. Because <laughs> I'm just I feel a bit blurry. Um, I don't know. Oh, I think that wants to come out. And Okay, Aquarius, there's, yeah, that's your card for sure. Okay, I want to show you the cards that I got and then I'll get into them and explain more, like dive deeper into them. Into them. The first card out is confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. There's a lot of things going on there. And then we have resilience, rise above tribulations, which is also my Cinderella card. And then we have origi originality, which I feel is you. Uh, you're a really original, like that's what you stand for, Aquarius. I haven't seen this card in your reading for quite some time, so maybe you're starting to feel like yourself again or something like that. I'm not going to jump into conclusions beforehand. Uh, let's just give me a moment here, and I'm going to look into this for a bit. Sorry, give me a moment. Um, yeah. First, first off, it might not like it's a general reading, so it might not resonate resonate with everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, so take whatever works and, and leave the rest, and don't force anything. I just feel like for some of you Aquarius, this is not going to be for all, even even if the rest of the message is for a lot of more, a lot of more Aquarius. Um, first off, I get the like I get an Indian, like Indian and cowboys, like an Indian native Indian feeling. Uh, I don't know why. If that's somebody that you're dealing with that is having like a very native Indian like look, if they have like feathers in their hair or dresses, dresses in a way that's very Indian like or stuff like that, or you're going back to your like native Indian roots, like your, like where you come from, because I get more about where you come from. It's like. It's like past lifetimes, parallel lifetimes, um, that sort of thing. It feels like there's so much information in this. I probably would need like a couple of hours to do this reading. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give that to you, and then if it, res if it resonates with somebody, you prob that's probably your like, yeah, got it. That's for me. Got it. Yes, I, I know what that is about. And then sort of just leave it there because 
It feels like it's it's just for a few people, but then in itself, it's such a deep story. So I could just talk forever about it. Um, I hope this makes sense to any any of you guys out there. Uh, okay, and then th we have like so many different stories. I don't know if you see. You probably just see the first one, which is this little lady on the lu. It's a lu yur, and I don't know what that's called in English, but it's a very strong spirit animal. And that's what I see. I see a lot of spirit animals in in here. Like you're traveling. It's you and your spirit animal. So whether you, you whether you're into that sort of thing or not, I just feel like that is what's coming through right now. Um, maybe you know what your spirit animal is, or you like have dreamt about them, or he has you know showed up in some sort of meditation in the past or something like that. Um, if you don't know, then you can start asking for it. Like what is my what is my spirit animal? Well, like, what it, what does it look like? Who is it? Um, and it will for sure start to show itself. It, and I mean, if it's a dragon, you're not going to see it walking like, well, who am I to judge? But probably you won't see it start like walking on the streets, meeting you anytime soon. But then you will see it like in pictures or on television, on, you know, posters, whatever, or even like in text. Um, then, you know, then that's your for the moment for the now moment for now in time and space uh it's it's your spirit animal and for some reason it has it has a message there right now it's something that is helping you right now that you have that spirit animal with you um and i feel like the, i feel like you it says confrontation but i don't feel confrontation i feel like you rather are If you would, if you would have been quick to jump into confrontation before, it feels rather like you're, like you're not, <laughs> like you're just the opposite. You're actually choosing to lay low or not confront, and I think that serves you really well. I mean, I feel like there's so much good energy coming out of it and <laughs> doing that. I just feel like you probably. You might have had migraines or headaches or pressure, at least pressure of your head, because it, I feel like there's new like connections, new things coming up from you, new energy. Uh, and at times when that get a bit too overwhelming or you can't really deal with it, you don't really know how to channel it um, or be a vessel for it, you sort of block yourself a bit and it, it can turn into a headache. And that's all the a, all the A's, I can't talk today. Um, that's all it is really. Um, and yeah, and I feel like you have a lot on your plate. You might have a lot to do right now, like family members that really wants your attention, a lot at work, a lot like people wanting your, uh, sending texts and you're supposed to answer this or answer emails or, uh, you're supposed to if you're launching a big thing it's like coming up tomorrow and you have so much to do and i feel like you're a bit overwhelmed and you need to work out your priorities i feel like what matters to you the most and sort of for a second not care so much about what other people think about that you prioritize that thing instead of this thing because it will drive you crazy if you try to if you try to meet everybody else's standards and what they think that they should deserve out of you right now, you're going to lose yourself. And that's probably also why you have like why you have withdrawn a bit. Yeah, it's not a withdrawal, but it's a you're not so full on like you usually are. And I, I feel like that's due to it, it's just a bit too much. Like I, I can't deal. So I'm I'm stepping, I'm backing off, I'm backing backing up a bit take whatever resonates with you whatever like if this is just in one relationship one relationship is demanding way too much out of you uh then that that applies as well so like put in whatever works for you in your situation and then next to it comes resilience rise above tribulations it's also my cinderella card i feel like two things are coming out and next to feeling like you're a bit overwhelmed and having that spirit animal connection right now and really opening up i feel like you are you, 
Okay, what is it that I want to say? Um, I feel like, first of all, you, whatever heaviness this is, whatever overwhelmment this is, you can rise above it. There, there's, it's no, it's no big deal for you. You just have to remember who you are, and I can deal with this too. What was I thinking? Of course, I can deal with this too. It's, it's not, it's not the end of the world. I just maybe need a bit of a power nap, uh, just 15 minutes in the day and just lay down and sort of regroup a bit or meditate or go out and walk in the woods for a bit or things like that. You just need to reorganize yourself a tiny bit uh, and then prioritize and then get over it, like rise above it. You can do that. Not to the point where you're sacrificing yourself, but, but th that's something else. Then the Cinderella story comes in. It is a situation that you're dealing with right now. And like I said, the spirit animals comes in to say, we're here to help. We're here to sort this situation out. And we're here to help you. And I feel like you, okay, so look at the staircase. It's like, okay, it's, it's a clear, it's a lot of okay now. It's a clear one step, two step, three steps, four steps, like how you walk up the steps. And then it becomes a bit blurry. It becomes like you can't really see what's happening after this. And that makes you run. It makes you not want to deal with the situation because you can't really see how it's going to pan out, how it's going to end, what result that's going to, you know, show up in. And because you can't see it fully, you don't want to deal with it. And that sort of, it's, that is not to your, it's not very beneficial for you to act that way, if that makes sense. And I'm not trying to be harsh here. I'm just saying what I see. It's just, it's just, you know, when you stand at the bottom of the staircase, you see the next step and that's all you need. Like, don't even care what's going on up here. Don't care what, you know, how the future looks or how is that going to look? How is that going to pan out? How is that going to, what, what is that going to result in? You don't have to give a shite right now because it doesn't matter. Um, and the thing is that you don't even get to experience the next step and the next step because you're running. You're running because you can't see what's happening there. So the spirit animals, and it follows you even in here, is coming out to say, hey, don't run. We can help you. We can look at this. We can stay in this situation. We can stay in this uh, feeling emotion, in this meeting in this um, new found place in your life if that is a bit overwhelming it's it's maybe a bit outside your comfort zone don't run like don't run just stay put and take the next step and don't look too far ahead okay <laughs> don't look too far ahead okay guys you will find yourself again. Actually, this is not you fully out there again. This is my this is my Aquarius card. This card is called Originality, Blaze Your Own Trail, which means that I know I've said it a couple of times before, but for any newcomers, welcome. Uh, if you're an Aquarius, you know, like if you compare other other, for instance, I'm Leo. So if you say, yeah, that's typical Leo. Uh, yeah, that's such a Leo thing to say. They are this and they are that. But if you're going to explain an Aquarius, it's like you don't find two Aquarius. That might be the thing to describe you as. You won't find two of the same. Because it's so freaking important for you guys to be such your own person, your own original person, uh, so that it's you can do things just cause because somebody else has already done it. Then it's not important for you. It's not like you don't care anymore. I miss this. That's what I'm feeling. I don't miss it, but you're you, like you miss this. You're you're wondering where you are. Like this is what you want to go back into, and you're getting there. You are revaluating stuff as we speak you're you're coming to conclusions about things right now you're understanding on a on a whole different level and it's like you've learned it's like i don't usually throw the word karma around because i don't like it karma sounds like something you can't 
be in control over or like steer in either direction, but I still want to use it. So I guess I will then. It's like a karmic cycle has ended. It's like you were supposed to learn a lot through something and it, and it has ended and you, and you will find yourself again. Not only will you find yourself again, you will find so much more due to whatever you've learned. Okay, guys, I will definitely go into extended. I will see what it is that you've learned and maybe maybe even find out who your spirit animal is. Uh, if that resonates with you, the reading resonates with you, come to me. Come to me. <laughs> come with me to the extended. Uh, it's just in the description box down below. Um, otherwise, I, I thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends if you want to. Take care, Aquarius. Bye.